Welcome back, everybody, to another edition of the Hop This Way Show. It's your boy Zeus, and it's Maddie Matt. Here beside is Matt Chua, Chua America in the house. We got the hip -hop. <laughs> Welcome to the yes. town. <laughs> oh, thanks. What's up, brother? How you doing? Oh, you know, chilling, always in my gear of black hoodie black hat i don't really defer much from this what beardy oh yes, yeah i'm, I'm lazy as shit yeah you got stuff going on don't worry i gotta shave it right after this show because i have <laughs> auditions and they need me to be clean shaven again so yeah so this will be here for the show and mm. then it'll be gone in an hour from now so so is that a is that a saying that we're lucky enough that we get the actual beard when everybody else doesn't or are you saying that we're just not we just don't count enough so you're like screw it fuck it i'm not even gonna say fuck these guys it's a very unfortunate thing that you guys have to deal with the uh this unfortunately for the time being nah. so yes you're killing it brother yes. you're killing it that's a nice like way it. That's a nice, nice way to say that he doesn't care about us. <laughs> I, mean, I could go with the usual route, but I figured I would I would pull it back a little bit on the on the obscenities for for the time being. I'm sure I'll slip eventually, but we're gonna see how long I can go. Fuck make this yeah. game. <laughs> well, um, speaking of, I don't know. I was gonna say profanity, but there's <laughs> nothing profane about her at all. Uh, the hip hop, uh, the Asian hip hop hippie herself, Stephanie Young Pratt. How are you? Oh, good. I'm wearing my dragon earrings for you guys today. Oh, I like you, me like you, me like you. Wow, looking nice. Dragon lady. Dragon are lady. they gorgeous? <laughs> Yeah, so merchandise you, queen, always, 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 and I have to represent in, the dragon lady. Are you kicking it in Boston still? Yes, for now. I'm missing my jungle, though. Yeah, no I doubt. really miss my jungle. Oh, palm trees behind her, so of course she's not. In I know. Thank oh, you. See, there you go. She's, she's still in Boston. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but we've got a warrior right behind me, the warrior print that my friend did. Awesome. Hey. That's pretty awesome. Who's your friend? Give him a shout out. Louise. Art art by Lou B. Louise Barnes. Good job. Good job. Um, and speaking of a work of art, that is uh, our very own Rebecca Nishi, who is the artist extraordinaire when it comes to the art of bringing folks onto the show <laughs> and bringing in. See, I'm trying to segue this any way I can. All right. <laughs> But anyways, it is the Miss, uh, the lovely Miss Rebecca Nishi. How are you, Rebecca? I'm fine, thank you. Hope you are fine too. It's been, uh, hey, Derek. Derek, <laughs> no, Derek. Hey, what's up? What's up, Always boy? present. Thank you. Yeah, we love it. We love the support. Uh, how are things in uh, Brazil today? Well, it, we just had a second carnival for the year. I don't know how they managed to do this, but... <laughs> There was the holiday in the beginning of the year, and now there was the parade. So we had two carnivals, you know, Brazilians. Awesome. We can do that. <laughs> right now, what, what was the name of the carnival? Was it a big one? The name of the carnival? It was still carnival, right? Oh, it's yeah, just carnival? Just carnival. Oh, just right. carnival. <laughs> well, see, because it's different here, right? Like in North America, we have carnivals, which is like a fair. No, no, oh, this right. is no, this, this is, is part of all. Yes, yeah, the, uh, yeah. in February or March is like the the Christian calendar carnival. Oh, four hmm. days 
before um, East, something like that. Oh, I have no <laughs> idea. I am the wrong guy to talk to you about that stuff. Um, the, the only religions that I really uh, follow are comic books and the warrior group. Uh, so, um, yeah. and speaking of, uh, you know, people following religions or at least following master teachings we have the master himself how was that for a segue frank <laughs> frank song right there how you doing my friend doing well doing well just uh i was trying to follow stephanie's lead i was gonna say i'm wearing like uh, <laughs> button downs and a white tee <laughs> that's 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 what i got for y'all right on man right on hey we're i, I think we're all killing it today that's right <laughs> so uh <laughs> Listen, we are back. Uh, we're a day later than normally, uh, so apologies for that. Uh, I had a shoot yesterday, and this will come up every once in a while, but we'll always try to adjust and have it come out on Tuesday when we can for you folks. Um, but yeah, we are here. Season two, episode seven. What? Oh. How geeked out was I to have something come across my feed that just simply said Warrior Season 3 and I just shared it. I'm like, what? Yeah, well, what? What was that? What was that? I don't even know. It was like, you know when your phone has the feeds, all the recommended feeds, and, and all of a sudden, right there on my screen was awesome. I'm like, wait, wait. Little things are leaking. Little promos. I mean, hey. And it was a, one of those little news stories. And, um, yeah, it was on about a little mini recap cap of, you know, what Warrior is. But it was announcing, you know, hey, a segue or, you know, a little teaser for season three. Well, we know that filming's underway finally now, right? Like everyone's yeah. in town now. They've uh, started on pre-production. I got to assume all the main cast is going to be there soon. We know that... Uh, who did we see that, that was there? Like, we saw Leary with somebody last week. They were posting photos together. Who was that? Mm -hmm. Remember? So, but, but yeah. But then, he, wasn't Perry was visiting Perry, Bill? Yeah. Kieran, yes. Kieran. Kieran. And, Kieran. Um, yeah, so, I mean, hey, they're... They're all getting there. I've seen Langley and Lonnie Perry to, uh, together Ooh. for Lonnie's birthday. Ooh, season three, I'm telling you, we're <laughs> filming it already and not telling us. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, I, I'm excited about it. But this episode that we're talking about today, I, I mean, this was an episode that uh, it ran the gambit when it came to emotions, I think. Uh, I mean, we kind of see it all, especially coming off of the end of last week and we see Assam and Baby June come back from this big tournament after losing Vega and being ambushed, if you will, by Father June and the rest of the hop way. And uh, Father June wasn't happy. Uh, and we pick up right there. And we pick up with Father June basically saying, listen, you, you went behind our back. Uh, you, you're not supposed to deal with anyone else but the old country. And I'm going to burn you out. You know, and and then he wants to take out a psalm as well. What are you guys thinking? Of, like the first, and it's so hard for us because we've all seen this so many times, so we, we know what's coming. But can can any of you remember back to the first time you watched it? Did you think like Hong? We we knew that a psalm wasn't going to die, but did you think there was a chance that Baby June or even Hong might have bit it there as like you know the sacrificial lamb, if you will? Yeah, or um, Father June. Right. I, I remember looking at that. I was like, oh, man, somebody, someone's definitely going to die. But that, yeah. it, wasn't, it wasn't so much I was afraid someone was, I was like, I was like, oh, man, this feels like someone's definitely going to die. But they they did an interesting, peaceful transition. They, and they made it seem like it wasn't forced. Right. Which is the hardest part. You know what it really reminded me of was uh, the Tarantino movie Reservoir Dogs. Is what I was thinking. Of. Like I kept thinking the warehouse scene in, in Reservoir Dogs. Um, spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen this movie from twenty something years ago. Uh, but everybody basically dies, right? You know, they, everybody they shoots shoot everybody. Each other. Yeah, and that's what I was thinking. We we're gonna get kind of like you know the the hop this way equivalent of that. You know, everyone getting hat shit. But uh, I I can't remember, but I probably thought that I can't handle any more of losing people <laughs> in this show. <laughs> <laughs> because if someone someone uh, died, 
I was going to be very sad. <laughs> no doubt. And I mean, this, <laughs> that's just kind of like a JT thing too. Like we've all watched Banshee and, oh. and some of us have watched C and mm. we're, we're used to JT being like, oh yeah, you like that character? Yeah, and, like life happens. Yep. Or death. <laughs> fair, very fair. <laughs> But see, there's some key scheming that happen. Nothing scheming, but there, you know, key results that happen in this that, that little segment. Mm -hmm. Young Jun actually does exactly the opposite of what you would think. You know, it's not like he goes off or and he doesn't. You know, you know, I don't cut his father off. He changes it up. He doesn't do what Father Jun is expecting him to do. He doesn't, you know, go ahead and just, you know, well, hey, give me the knife, and I'm supposed to kill myself. You know, he said. He, this shows some wisdom, maybe, you know yeah. what I mean? That you are more valuable, you are a resource, so I'm going to keep you around. But he still is making enough enough little comments on the side that, you know, how much of this was his doing and how much was Assam's. Exactly. So, you know, you're no, he's no dummy, but he's still, you know, taking action, you know, Definitely laying, you know, welcome. slipping let's into the Let's take a quick look at that, that opening sequence. Mm. Um, and just this part, so intense, honestly. Will someone dice this fucking onion? Now. See how reluctant they all are? Yeah. Oh, my God. And young June right away. <laughs> Honk, okay. <laughs> you know your own father? No. Oh, me. Played. Open your eyes. We're losing ground by the day. You know that. I really want to know what Assam was going to do with just throwing his hands out compared to everybody else. <laughs> right? Well, at least he doesn't have a rosary. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Perry, you, so fucking you, good, man. Kill him now! Where are you going? What the fuck are you doing? Damn. In this line? Mm -hmm. This is my line of the show. You are honoring your long years of leadership. And celebrating your retirement. That's actually mine too, so LOL. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it worked out well. Sorry, dude. But yeah, what a great line. What a great scene. And did you guys notice there as well when the hop when the hopway sided with baby June, you had those new recruits that were fucking with Hong and that baby June actually the one guy that he beat the fuck out of at the table there that was laughing at him. Um, they have different they walked over and they're like, We're still on your side. Yeah, he the ones that are fresh off the boat. Yeah. Right. You don't want to get again. You know uh, the scene when he sits uh, at the, the chair reminds me of how, what he was talking about um, being the Godfather um, way. You know the the three um, parts of the Godfather, and now he Fredo is becoming <laughs> Michael Corleone. <laughs> See that uh, that was um that scene led up that was part of my one my favorite line when you know Asan just looks at him and says, Sit in the fucking chair. <laughs> yes, what a great line. <laughs> Shut up and sit in the chair. That was my line. I was like, yeah. I was like, just sit in the fucking chair. <laughs> so good. Uh and, and so we go from there and just we see the balance of power change. We see baby June sit in the fucking chair and you'd think the weight of the world would be off his shoulders but it's quite the opposite as he sits down and you see it's like oh shit this this just got real and i wasn't expecting it i mean perry in that scene amazing tobin wow man like the depth that, that he goes to and the fact that he doesn't get more roles is mind-blowing to me honestly um what kind of stood out uh, for you guys at the beginning of this episode or throughout this episode, honestly? I'm going to start with you, Matt. I mean, in the very beginning when that whole 
scene happens with the kind of the implosion of the hopway it's it's interesting because i remember when i first saw it and everybody almost was going to turn on each other it was kind of like oh man this is this really going to happen right now and then when they and then when they sided with with um you know young june and then you know young june like reluctantly goes up to his father and is just like you know where we're celebrating your retirement this is the end of your leadership and things like that low key i'm watching this i remember when i first watched it and i was just like this man really didn't want it this was all like the 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 hidden plays of of assam the entire time like right. low key, he wasn't like, ready like and it kind of like you know assam single-handedly fucked up that father-son relationship i mean later later on you see like it it's not all too bad, but yeah. I mean, you know, kudos to to young June in that moment, you know, just really kind of coming into his own super fast. And it's just like, mm -hmm. oh, tough <coughs> shit. I'm here now. And then he goes and, you know, he, he sits in the fucking chair and then, yeah. you know, he he has that dialogue with his father even after when he's supposed to kill him. And he's like, no, like, I want to learn from you. And, you know, just just the the way that he just takes control of of the hopway in his own in his own way is exactly is fascinating yeah, it's very is very fascinating and inspiring but you know at the same time you, again assam kind of low key fucked that up and pushed it way ahead of schedule and it's you, you kind of got to like shame him for that like mm. Mm -hmm. Naughty, and, and naughty, 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 Assam. How dare yeah. you? <laughs> and All because you obvious. have this personal gripe with your sister, you are low key fucking your whole your but adopted a, family up. But that's the thing, Frank. And Frank, I'll ask you this: um, Is Assam the hero in this, or is Assam honestly the villain in this story? Uh, you could make an analogy of a song with Buckley in this case, actually, right? Right. Because we were talking about this a little before the show, and I was just thinking of that quote from this early scene for Young Jews, heavy lies the head that wears the crown, or heavy is the head that wears the crown. Right. And he's he's not only wearing the crown, he's wearing the crown during a time where there's a turning point in the whole structure. He didn't he was clearly reluctant up until this point to take power, mm -hmm. but he also didn't want the old template. So now he can sort of learn from his father, right? That's why he kept his father alive. But at the same time, his father is still the old template and he clearly isn't what he wants. Otherwise he would just let him stay on. Right? He wouldn't have gone behind his dad's back. Yeah. And I'm oh, sorry. And making the Assam analogy with um, Buckley is that, he, in this case, he shows that how he can belong in that hustlers group, right? With the Buckleys, with the Chows, with the um, Davenports, where they're doing operations between worlds as we as they would get into this in, later on the episode. Between worlds, between the lines, in the shadows. And Assam is kind of half in and half out of the shadows. So it's just... It, it's kind of unfair, I know, to say he's he's another Buckley. He's not another Buckley. Right. He's doing Buckley things in this case, mm. in a way, maybe with different intentions. Like he, his goal is not to exterminate a people. Right. It has nothing to do with what he's shown on the surface. Right. Yeah, and that that would be, I guess, my point uh, to if or even my question whether he's actually the villain or not, because everything he's doing isn't. It doesn't seem to be coming from any type of altruistic position. Like everything he's doing has a meaning, a self-serving purpose mm -hmm. overall. That has um, nothing to do with anyone else. Well, yeah. one other person, but no one else in his tongue. It, well, but it was my lane, but even that seems to be gone now, right? Yeah, after that scene that they had where he said he would destroy everything. Yeah, so I mean, now, now who is Assam truly out for? Is he really out for the hop this way and, and for baby June? Or is he really just positioning himself to be the guy that, you know, the puppet master that controls the hop this way through baby June, even though he knows every, the entire Chinatown will be chanting Assam's name as the hero. Bingo. 
I feel like he's just and, doing I mean, his I think thing. it's obvious to everybody. You know, there were enough comments in this aimed at Assam that said, you're the one who's really behind this. You know, at one point, Father Jun said it, Baby Jun said it, um, Chow said it, and, yeah. you know, I know someone else said it. And I mean, it, it's pretty it's obvious, funny. except he refutes it and still proceeds to say, no, I mean, I answer to, you know, Baby Jun now. But if ever, it's obvious to everybody, come on. <laughs> so, yes, you know, again, you know it's going to come up. Is it, you know, that's obviously a point of contention, you know? Mm -hmm. It reminds me a, a bit of, you know, superheroes uh, movies, uh, especially Marvel ones, because they are human beings that get superpowers somehow, but they have, like, human feelings. Yeah. And sometimes they... they uh, pass through some um, struggle or how can I say, <laughs> baby June? <laughs> That's uh, all. Spirit alive. Some, <laughs> some very impactful uh, thing of uh, on their lives, like Spider Man. You could see in the last movie. Sometimes he masks some actions uh, by thinking he's doing something for. Uh, the good of everyone, but actually is for a personal uh, vendetta or you know right. some personal or, or gain personal gains. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why it's what Assam is doing, and hopefully in season three he will have <laughs> his redemption, like the superheroes. The, the... We can hope. Uh, <laughs> what about you, man? What do you what do you think? Uh, well, the problem with the psalm, unfortunately, is that un he, since nobody's really getting truly hurt, right, or like killed or, or some anything within that within that realm, it's kind of like, well, well no one's dying, so I guess I'm all right. Well, but, minus her, but no that was, dying but no, but see, here's the thing: you can't you can't really use that as an example because True. she played him and she was unfortunately, you know. Fair, fair. You know yeah. that, that was that was her own that thing. Was, that was, that, on her that, part. That was what? her. That was her own her own downfall because you know mm -hmm. she had this you know alter ulterior motive of like, hey, I'm gonna have these guys fight for me. Da 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 da. They may or may not win. I don't know how it's gonna happen. But I'm gonna kill this motherfucker who killed my dad. <laughs> and yep. it worked. It worked. And yep. the, un, you know, unfortunately, there was you know where we talked about it in the last episode where you know came out of nowhere. She unfortunately died but you know her she accomplished whatever she needed to do yeah so that wasn't entirely his fault because you know as we all said last episode where she's unraveling throughout her storytelling like you know i've had this plan from day one you just see a so i'm like yo what oh, the fuck did you just do <laughs> like, you, you double crossed me Ooh. Uh -huh. Girl, yes. no. yep. <laughs> so no. So, besides that situation, Assam unfortunately is 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 playing chess here with a lot of different pieces, and as long as nobody's getting hurt or murdered, he's thinking it's cool. And unfortunately, as we see towards the end, we're not going to get well, into it because we're not there at that episode yet. I have to defend you... him a little bit. <laughs> defend, <laughs> defend Rebecca. Go ahead. His trauma is he he came from China to save his sister. The sister doesn't want to be saved. She became some crow, you know, <laughs> gangster. And she ordered uh, Leon to kill him. If it wasn't for Bill shooting uh, mm -hmm. in the middle of the contest, or the whatever, what the yeah. it's called, uh, he would be murdered. So now he's like, in a vendetta with his sister. Yep. Yeah, but there were multiple times. Hold on. We're going to have this debate. But there <laughs> were multiple times, even especially when she met up with him at the... Uh, Apologized. At the, at, the, at the fight pit and was just like, hey, I'm trying to clear the air, whether it was honestly sincere or not. You know, that, that re it remains to be seen. Based on how the end of that conversation went, it was kind of like, damn, maybe it was truly heartfelt. Like she wanted to kind of, you know make amends with that he could have he was like you know what <sighs> fuck fine <laughs> fine all right i guess but he was just like nah 
Yeah, I don't <laughs> care. I'm going to let all your shit burn. I'm going to watch. And I'm going to piss in the hole. No, I'm just kidding. But, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> and then light it up. Like, there, there was times where he, he, he could have easily, like, not you know, yeah. allowed a lot of this happen. And he did. So, no. All that bail you're going to shoot for this man, I'm not going to allow proud. it. <laughs> He's very proud. And that's why I think Myling always um, had some... We have to see the past of them, you know, as siblings. Yeah. To see how yeah. much he pissed his heart, uh, her off mm -hmm. to, to make her so angry with him. He might have been always reckless in, the, in his whole life and always proud and always looking for trouble. That's that's why he is. He's an anti-hero. He's not like... Uh, what are you saying? He's Batman? Hero, hero. <laughs> Maybe. He's the Punisher. I'm curious to see who's gonna whoop that no, no. ass first. It's either gonna be my Ling or it's gonna be Young Ju. One of the two are gonna is gonna get up in the Psalms ass, and I'm trying to figure out which one is wow. gonna be first. Wow. And that's the thing. Well, why does he see he he's too proud to admit that you know he's actually more obvious than he thinks? Because everybody's on to him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of, speaking of being uh people being on top of each other, um <laughs> 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 I, I like that. That might have been See, the best segue you've done this entire time. That was. Yo, yo, I, I, I almost went with it on uh I forget what you had just said right before that, Matt, and I was gonna I was gonna use it with that too, but then Ooh. yeah, Steph jumped in and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna find another that. one. No, it's all good. good. It's all good, it worked out even better. Um so so we take the next step in this relationship. Uh with Leary and young Sophie. Is that yeah. her name? Sophie Ray? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, all right. I don't know. I start to hate this don't couple, hate honestly. Me. I really, really <laughs> kind of hate this couple. Never I, it. The like, googly eyes I just, across the fight. Oh, I see oh, you. The fight right. scene, though, was dope. I mean, it was. <laughs> that was a really good fight scene. Which uh, happens quite a bit in here. Uh, I made a video uh, with two of them with that Britney Spears song. No, I'm in love with oh. you. Know. <laughs> I thought it was, thought it was oh, gonna be "Baby Hit Me One More Time." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Oh, baby, baby. Um, I'm sorry, that's the only Britney Spears song I really know. Um, no. <laughs> I mean, shut up. I've got the album on my my iPod. Um, it's on my Zune. Is that a thing still? Um, a Zune. A Zune. Wow. That was right before the iPod. Z U N E. That's right. <sighs> yeah. What? I'm sorry. I bought that in Bitcoin. Um, just kidding. <laughs> mm -hmm. So <laughs> we have the, the, this couple. What? Why do I hate them so much? Why is it like I, I know why I'm supposed to hate Leary, but I kind of as much as I hate Leary, I respect his his dedication to what he Plus. believes is protecting his people, right? Um but the two of them together just drive me fucking batty. And I don't I can't put my finger on what it is about the two of them. Am I the only one that feels this way? Oh no, I think Pen no, I think Penny says it best. Like she, you, you act like a child, and in 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 saying and in the way that he she kind of goes on with this plan and then does this with him and then and then all you know all all this chaoticness that she brings to Leary and then you know Leary, you know has his motives and they you know he's her chaotic shit kind of like sort of sign of yeah a little bit aligns with whatever he needs to do and it's just like oh well all right i'm i'm with this but i mean other than that like the the chemistry and all that really doesn't make a whole lot of sense because mm. he could easily be like i'm not you know, like bitch like you know like yeah. but he, he we do see him do that a couple times though with her right like yeah time for you to peace out but yeah, I, I don't you know. know. She places herself, you know, in 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 his path multiple times. I mean, in this episode, she goes to the fight, and you know, then the, the googly eyes across the fight, right? 
they're like having eyeballs. But she also, you know, she's done this a couple of times. She knows what she's doing. She puts herself in his book. As we take a look at said fight. Bang. And then this is the googly eyes. Oh. Okay. Okay. Googly eyes. Googly eyes to uppercut. Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> you're done. There it is. <laughs> One and done. The googly eyes is a command man. That's it, man. <laughs> the power of the googly eyes. Um, and the light sonata, don't worry about Don't forget about that. I mean, they, you have to do a whole episode for that. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I'm just saying those googly eyes, especially the googly eyes that Matt's getting. I, I'm sure that that gets everybody some sticky. Hey, would you like some sticky? No, 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 no. Ah. <laughs> what are you doing? Sammy Davis Jr. does sticky. <laughs> what just happened? What? Man? Oh, it's the uh, Derek. Does. I was okay with Sophie just being young, naive brat until yeah. she was. Res- yeah. Right. Exactly. I. That, that is why. That's why I hate her because she fuck. That's why. And she's still with him afterwards. He destroyed. Like I, uh, I, I, I can't stand it. Um, yeah. Great actress, great writing though. Like that's that's. She's it, very annoying. And that's at, at this point, right? <laughs> that snarkiness, that little like. That do little, it, yeah. do it, Center. Steph. What's that? Sn- what's that snarky shit? Do it, do snarkiness. it. <laughs> I think also the fact that she you can't have me repeat these things because when I do it you know, every second time, I, it's not the same. <laughs> Wait, but the third time's a charm. Let's see it. Do the snarky. Oh, snarky. Oh, snarky. <laughs> Work it, girl. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't do well with snarky brats. Just uh, oh. well, a curiosity about the scene you just played. The one who is fighting Mary is Stuart. Williamson is his brother of Ian, the one I told you he oh. is the stunt double for Ding Jagger. Oh, so oh. Stuart uh, always um, spar with Ding mm-hmm. on the trainings. You know, he uh, rehearsal the choreographies. Irish with with oh, okay. yeah. He's from yeah. South Africa. He lives there in Cape Town, I think. Awesome. I got it. I know what annoys me about this. She always, she always has the same like, oh, face every time. Uh-huh. There, that one. <laughs> like, you, you made the eyes. I looked. I'm, I'm like, oh, I've got that picture right there. She, she oh, always has like that, 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 that face when she's trying to like be like, yo, Leary, <laughs> hey, hey, I oh can't do it. Hey, Wait, do I? Hey, it has to become my man. I can't. I can't. Um, <laughs> um, oh, nothing, look, look, nothing, nothing against the the, the actress who plays her and everything else. Oh no, like she's killed it. She absolutely killed it. The fact, the fact that you can it. portray like this, this, this young <sighs> like brat, like how you know how Derek yeah. said, and then just like really come like it's it's so. Fucking good. Like to, She's to good. Do yeah, that. she nailed it. Especially because I don't think it's her real personality. <laughs> I'll be an extra. Yo, that ass. Steph can be every snarky person in every film. And it's just like, oh, where's that snarky girl? <laughs> <laughs> She's all talking about I'm banana, banana trees right now. I'm, I can't, I'm not good at being snarky in real life. I can do a good impression of those people because mm, they irritate the shit out of me, but whatever. But yeah, oh, um, she, she, she right. says I need to be in movies. Oh, and I didn't. Sorry, go ahead. I vote for. Uh, I vote for everything. <laughs> Me too. What? Yeah, I, what? We're, we're all in on that. As we all just were like, "What happened?" Um, all right. So, anyways, back to uh, back to this episode here. Um, so we've got a, ch- a change in the balance of power in the hopway. We've got uh, young June is now taking over the hopway. We've got, of course, 
the love interest we saw between Larry, not the love interest, we just saw them knocking boots, getting some sticky. It's that, it's that lust. Get some it's that sticky, lust. That young lust. But we see also we also saw you know some talk of maybe Leary having some political aspirations, or at least Buckley trying to put that bug in his ear. Now Leary plays it off and he's like, No, 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 I'm not I'm not a fucking politician. Or he says, I'm no politician. And as he walks away, Buckley's like, That's what all the best politicians say. Yeah. Yes, I mean, he actually gets quoted a few times about this. Buckley does it. Yeah, so, Sophie actually Sophie, does it. Yeah, Sophie actually she does it too. It yeah, you know. So, I mean, googly eyes. It's the googly eyes. I would try to civilize me. Never. <laughs> Just run. Um, <laughs> killing me here, guys. You're killing me. Here. <laughs> Yeah, I forget everything now. Um, anyways, so we see that. What, what do we think of though? Obviously, with Leary possibly, maybe one day becoming a politician. Like, I, I don't want to jump too far ahead in the season here or anything like that. Uh, but do we? Is this? If if you're in this time, is this a guy that you want to run? Could- I guess not if you're uh, in Chinatown, but I mean. If you're if you're if you're Buckley, I would claim her back then. Yeah, yeah, so it, definitely swing uh, Irish folks, and mm-hmm. maybe bring right. other you know white folks with the same kind of yeah. thinking. Yeah, because he honestly has a lot going in his favor if he did, because you know with that whole Irish vote and how they're not, you know, unfortunately working and and everything like that. I mean, what better way than to have the person who always fights for them nonstop, you know, be their their voice of the you know the voice of the voiceless, you right. know, it's their him. It, yeah. And be also, like he's the natural leader. They yeah. just showed him recently, you know, working at you know serving food. So it shows all the human, you know, the humanity side of him. What was it? It wasn't the soup kitchen, but it was you know everybody lining up for food. Was that last episode or the one before? Think that was that. So that whole humanity part and community, you know, Which like, looks like who looks, who looks like, your, like son, your son, Susan? Susan. <laughs> Which one? I'm gonna say not me. I'm just are guessing. Talking, are you talking about from the actual show or or one this of show? Us. Maybe the guy that Leary was uh, having a match with. Is that who she was talking about? I don't know. I'm not sure. Could have been. Susan, uh, please elaborate when you when you get the last pictures we show were this. <laughs> we were talking about Leary or so maybe it's yeah. Leary or Buffalo. Awesome. Leary inspired by uh the Irish labor leader Dennis Kearney. So who does go into who did go into politics and mm-hmm. end all the speeches with the Chinese must go. And Leary says that in the very first episode. Which is like their direct connection to that character, right? Like that we'd have to assume that's their direct nod. I'm sure Whatever. that's direct inspiration. I'll be surprised if it wasn't. Yeah. yeah. If we ever get JTM, we're gonna have to ask him that for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, hey JT, if you're watching, hey, just hey come, just come on, tweet by. us back. Yes, <laughs> tweet us back. That's all. Um, and and hello, and uh, uh, by the way, folks, uh, I do want to remind you all: you could be watching this right now live on our YouTube channel, the Hop This Way Show on YouTube. Also follow us on Spotify, Apple Music, uh, at the Hop This Way for your podcast listening earballs. That's right. Put it in your earballs. The top guy in the middle. The top guy in the middle. Oh man. Me? Oh, look like his son. Oh, that's that's awesome. <laughs> I didn't she realize shave your face. <laughs> oh, I keep him here for a little bit. In in about. 20 so minutes I will be so it's all, it's all right it's quite all right but I'm I'm glad I I resemble your son so thanks love it and thank you for ch- tuning in Susan uh first time we've seen your name up here so thanks so much uh, hey yeah first time hey, hey what's up how you doing hey we thank you we thank you so so much uh you like us you really we don't know but you're here still so um, as we show off some of the talk 
Now, let's uh, kind of just blow through this episode quickly here. Um, we see Mayor Buckley, or not Mayor Buckley, sorry, the mayor, just get right embarrassed mm. by all the dignitaries in town, uh, basically saying how Penny wears the pants in the family. And he goes home drunk and is not liking that at all. But before he comes home drunk, Penny and Sophie get into a heated argument. And Penny basically tells her to hit the bricks. Oh, this um, is so good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Sophie leaves. And as soon as she leaves, the mayor shows up. And he just starts giving the tongue lashing uh, to Penny. And she's not having it either. But then, of course... Things escalate. He hits her in the heat of the moment. No fucking excuse whatsoever. And she does what we all want to do and just gives it right back to him. He goes crazy. And yeah, I mean, whew. shit happens. Shit happens. That um, was definitely I don't want to give it away because these, I got part of my, my we all have our, our kill of the week or our, our person of the week. And I feel like I, I ruined I ruined somebody's already because I played their clip and I'm sorry, professor. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, the, the, the end of this one, Sophie actually comes back. The mayor, th- she jumps on the mayor. The mayor tosses her against the wall. She's out cold. He's on top of so or Penny choking her out and she's starting to black out. And then we hear thud to the back of the head. Now, I will say, as much as we kind of shit on Sophia, right? Yeah. I will shoot. I, this is where this is where I will I will shoot her some bail. And <laughs> I am I am not in my 40s. So <laughs> I don't, now I really don't know how to feel about beard. that. You look great the beard. You no, really I, the beard. I really don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I just I had had a shave before. Now I really need to just for the sake. But I, like I was saying, I will definitely shoot Sophie some bail here because when um, Penny and the mayor were going at it, she was like, "Hold up, though, that's fam. I'm gonna fuck you up too." And right. She gets in it, like you know what I'm saying. So you know, despite whatever her childish things are that she's done throughout this, you know season unfortunately like she has this shining moment where she's like ah, even though you were gonna kick me out i got you still so it was it was very admirable uh, so i will shoot yeah. her some bail on that one but Absolutely uh agree. going back to the other sister penny was holding that shit the fuck down man <laughs> killing that shit well until well- yeah. Kill. Yeah. And then it was and then it was our boy Jacob that actually killed it in the end, literally. Oh. Uh with a fire poker to the back of the head of the mayor. Uh and, and uh that's kind of how the episode ends. I, I'd be remiss though if I didn't actually mention there there were some other big players in this episode as well. Uh we, we talked about in court with Zing. Um there was mention, of course, of Vega again and how that was affecting Assam. Yeah, that toy. But Davenport, Davenport had mm-hmm. a huge, huge part here. Yeah. Um, ah! Her and a toy. Um, oh, this you know, hurt. This hurt a lot. Ah! I mean, wow. This, you know what? Listen, let's let's do it this way because I don't want to spoil things with. Let's just go through who our favorites are and we'll talk because we'll talk about that part because I've got that coming up. Um, mm-hmm. Frank, we we kind of sh- showed your clip already, but mm-hmm. do you mind uh, explaining to us again why your person is who they are? And I'll put the yeah. screen back up. All out warrior. Yeah. Who's your all out warrior of this episode? Yeah. I mean, it, it has to be Leary as much as I don't, as I don't like that character. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. You can keep talking. Yeah. Yeah. As much as I don't, as I don't like that character, I mean, he's showing now that he's not just formidable and dangerous when he's actually punchy in the face. He's he can work some things behind the scenes. He can command his own army. In effect, I mean, we, we've seen that a lot already because we've seen that the clear leader of the Irish. But now 
he's taken it to the, a different level with state government and local and city government of one of the largest cities on the West Coast at that time, right? So it's, mm-hmm. it's it still is, but it's um, it's where a guy like that can get really really dangerous, extra dangerous, you know. And and it, and it's um, it's an interesting, it, it's a cool alignment with his uh, with his character's inspiration. Yeah, cool in the sense that it's you know they portray very well, and by very well, Dean like pulls this off to scary, uh, <laughs> scary proportions. He is so good in this role. Um, what what about you, Rebecca? Who who's your favorite? This uh, who is your all out warrior? A toy because she freed all those women, uh, sex slavers. Mm. So she's my hero for the day. <laughs> Right on. And that's what's listening wait. here. Stand by to Jenny. No more killing. You can build a life here. Better one. I get down. If you stay with me, you start seeing John's tonight. You want to be a whore? Is that what you want? That's so rough, that scene. Like, that doesn't get easier watching it now. Like, no, just I'm so fine. tough. And Jenny, like, <laughs> Jenny, Jenny... didn't say a word, and she killed that shit. Yeah, man. And she just, you see it building and building. Like, as an actor, you're just like, oh, my God, that's so good. And like Matt, like you said, she didn't say a fucking word, and she killed it. Nothing. Oh, just, oh, so, so good. Uh, Matt, speaking of which... Who you got? Who's your warrior? Uh, I was like, that's a, I don't know what segue you were going to go in with that one, but I was like, <laughs> I was a little nervous. I was like, what? Um, Wait, who? So my all out warrior will have to go to young June himself for, I mean, like we said in the beginning of, of our show here, like the man, you know, Un- unwillingly took on this position of power and yeah. did some miraculous things like right out the gate without pre- without preparation, without, you know, having time to figure out what he needed to do. He was, you know, like just within bomb, bomb, bomb. Nah, we're not going to kill you off. I need you around. I want to learn from you. And then, you know, getting on it later on in the episodes, like he's, he does, slowly and surely start handling his own and it's really 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 good and you start seeing that he's starting to use his 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 own brain as well and he is starting oh, to question things with the thumb and you know uh yeah i like it uh but he shows he shows off a lot of bravery at the beginning too um as we saw here it doesn't matter i've served this town my whole life if he wants to burn me out you can go ahead won't change a fucking thing. Mm. Branding us like goddamn cattle isn't what makes us hop way. This speech. Knock yourself out. You can see right there, eh? Neither one of them really wanted to go through with it. That was right. Took that I shit. Did. Took right? it. He was like, do it. Do it, Dad. <laughs> Fucking do it. You finish that shit. And, and neither one of them wanted to do it. You could tell. Like, they had that moment where they both kind of had that hesitation in their eyes. Like, is, like, young June's like, is he really going to do it? And Perry's like, 
am I really going to do this? Like, oh, shit. And, really and make they had no this? choice. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> it was tradition at that point. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, uh, good choice. Good choice. Staff. Who you See, it, for me, it was a tie between Atoy and Young Jun, really for some, those reasons. But the dark horse, you know, sort of, you know, behind the scenes making power moves, you know, my Ling stood out because, you know, she, that's not flashy. You know, you're not seeing this in a scene with a bunch of other people. It's not a fight scene, but she's making those other little moves. Mm. What's his face? Getting the, um, the, the photograph right, from the investigator. You don't really know what's going on, but, you know, it's these little power moves, these little things that she's doing behind the scenes, right? And the fact that she actually did, you know, you know, rein her man back in by uh, spicing it up in the bedroom, so to speak. Yeah, because they did. had an exchange right. where yeah. I think she saw him slipping. She saw that he's questioning her, some of her moves. He's looking at her a little bit sideways, like, wait, did she really just do that? So they had that look. And I think she, you know, she did that to go ahead and make sure she had his, her hooks in him. Make well, sure she had he had her hooks in Test him to make, obviously, you know, do you trust me? So, you know, no one else is seeing that, but those are some key moves that, you know, she's protecting herself. <laughs> 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 Damn, Derek. Derek Chin uh, says, "Yep, my lings <laughs> like Amber Heard." <laughs> oh my god! Wow, wow. <laughs> Guess you could say, uh, she really shit the bed on that one. Oh, um, <laughs> was that too soon? Too soon. All right, my bad. Um, <laughs> Matt's face is the best. Right now. <laughs> well, um, I love the I love the pick of my ling. I, I I thought you picked somebody else though in the beginning. I thought you you chose Jenny. Oh no! See, that's the oh scrap, because you know, no, that scene where. Oh well, yeah. I think we only have time for the one today, so that's why. <laughs> but anyway, so we're gonna you. look at that video. We're gonna look at we'll look at the oh scrap anyways for you. How about that? Okay. How about yeah. we look at okay. Jenny? Okay. Why? Yeah. Woo! Ow. Oh Jenny. my god. Oh. Jenny. It just gets worse and worse. <laughs> Her face. Yep, yep, yep. Look at that toy. Ooh. Finish him. <laughs> Yo, that nod though. Right? Mortal Kombat. Finish him. <laughs> right. right oh, she's. This is like. <laughs> She's starting to enjoy it. That's why. That's why Far was dangerous. At that point, you're just like, J- thank you for finishing me. I don't care. <laughs> like, yes. Like, dang, dang. Um, yeah. yeah. You know, uh, I remember a video. I have to find it. I didn't think of it before. There's a behind the scenes a video of uh, Jenny. Uh, she has her birthday, and someone gave her the cake. You know, all the with the distance the. the the crew and someone gives her a knife to cut the cake. Once she gets a knife, everyone's like, Oh my god, Jen has a knife, just a knife. <laughs> That's how we feel when Steph's got a weapon. Yeah, exactly. You're not supposed to cackle like that. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> you kind of put up the point there. This this Love solidifies it. everything we say about you. That was a very quick reaction, too. That was it was almost like that was automatic. Right, you do not deserve anything sharp. No, 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 no. <laughs> not even a pencil. There's gonna be a padded room somewhere with no, 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 no sharp anything. But I haven't no practiced glass. with these at all. I need to teach myself these. <laughs> no, you're, I need you're, you to stay away from all those. <laughs> I love you guys. A weapon. 
For those of you okay. listening on the podcast, Steph has just brandished a pair of nunchuckas. <laughs> um, all right. So, yeah, uh, interesting episode. Uh, we got a lot uh, that went out of the way there. Oh. Um, we all got our, well, I guess I got to give my warrior of the week as well. Mm-hmm. So my warrior of the week didn't have a lot of screen time, but arguably had the most impressive moment. Not impressive, mm-hmm. but the most heroic moment of the entire episode. And mine goes to my man. Jacob. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Like you're starting to go. I really thought that was the end of her. Yeah. And I actually thought the sister did this. Me too. Yeah. I was like, damn. Like she got some swing in the hat. And And the way they have him reach for it, like that that hole. Oh my god. And then the junk, like the blood on it. Oh look at that. I remember saw that. I was like, oh my god, it's him. And who this this camera shot here to go out on, mm-hmm. like I, man, director I, of this episode, whoever you are, well done. Yep, yeah. chills all over. Man, this show, oh, the next episode, like I'm now, I'm hyped to watch the next episode because we know what's happening now. Like, oh my god, we're, we're in the home stretch, folks. What is there? Ten episodes, nine episodes? This. The season we got two. I left. need plenty of weed yeah. to watch that next episode. <laughs> I need plenty of weed for the rest of the episode. Yeah. That one is so triggery. Oh what? my goodness. Oh yeah. Well yeah. Because yeah, oh eight, nine, oh, and, eight, nine, eight, and, nine eight, and ten. Nine and ten. Yep. 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 Eight's not as bad. Yeah. But eight gives us, it gives us some backstory. It's yeah. a lot of Chow and uh and a lot of Kenneth in this or well. Um, Jacob, played by Kenneth Folk. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, um, Jacob, you the man, dude. You the man. Yeah. Uh, I'm really excited for that. Now, um, do you guys each have uh, a particular line? Do you guys have your line of the week? We can go down yeah. that. I know I already played mine, but yeah, we we me and you both had the same one. Which, for those who don't remember, both mine and Zeus's were. You're honoring your long years of leadership well, celebrating your retirement. Onion. <laughs> yes. Kill him now! What the fuck are you doing? We are honoring your long years of leadership. And celebrating your retirement. See the unreluctantness, like my God. Right? Like the reluctant Ugh. king. Heavy as the head, like we said before. Um we see it we see it in so many different medias um throughout the year. Uh, Hamlet, fucking any of these things where it's you know the son taking over for the father and not wanting to do it mm-hmm. and replace them it's uh it's one of those stories that's uh old as time they would say uh what were you what was your your line of the week shut up and take the fucking chair <laughs> uh-huh. i wish i i wish i should have got that one too basically i just gotta put the entire episode up <laughs> because you know i mean and uh, i i mean we already know that there there are comments in here and there about you know Asam being the the you know brains behind the, that particular move, but you know he's actually stepping up and you know being that you know wingman that you know that sidekick of basically no it's just just do it as in let me help rein you in young Jun you know just sit the fucking chair. Sit in the nah, fucking he's chair. using him as a big fallout like here hurry up and do this because I can't technically do this. You <laughs> yeah, that, like that's the truth of it. 
Just take the chair because, you know, you might as well. Just, just take the fucking chair because I, I can't. I'm but not you can. I do. I'm not we'll wait till after next season when I kill you. <gasps> oh. I'd be pissed. I'd be really, really pissed if that Dude. was the. Dude, I know. Oh. They can't. They can't. But the, I mean, it's JT. It's JT. No, it's JT. I know. JT killed fucking Hobbs' girlfriend in the last season. Oh. Or season three. She died in season three, right? But yeah. Oh, I don't where? remember. In, in the Banshee. Oh, the Banshee. God. Mm. Yeah, Hobbs's Hobbs's girlfriend. Um, it was the big native dude. Yeah, that scene that I will never get out of my head. <laughs> Sorry, I know. I know. <laughs> I know. Oh. It's that love hate because how could a show do that good of a job of making you traumatized? Yeah, because that yeah. scene. Mm-hmm. Fuck, I mean, like seriously, Banshee was Game of Thrones before Game of Thrones. It was. <laughs> it's like, oh, you like characters? Um, what about you, Rebecca? What was the line that stuck out the most to you? Yeah, it's a mix of uh, a good line and a uh, frank fact. <laughs> I'm going to need the uh, help of Frank to, to analyze this. I read that um, Wait by the River now, you see the bodies uh, will come floating by. Uh, Assam retorts by saying uh, Sun Tzu. Yeah. yeah, but it says that uh, uh, it's a common mistake because the real quote comes from a mistranslation of Confucius. Confucius, because oh. the character for time can be mistaken by corpse, corpse as well. For a corpse. Corpse. Yeah. It can sound. So, similar, yeah. Do you know that? If you hear it spoken, you can. I'm not sure about it written though. It, they can sound similar, so maybe. Yeah, maybe. I wish I could give you confirmation on this one. Yeah, mm. it's a curiosity, so should be in the should be Frank section. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. What about you, Frank? What was your line of the show? Leary and Buckley. Uh, Leary says, "I'm not a politician." As he walks away, Buckley says, "That's what the best ones say. That's, <laughs> that's what the best ones always say." I'm paraphrasing a little. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and that, that holds absolutely true until 2016. Sorry, that guy <laughs> that, you know, that guy that won in 2016 swore he wasn't a politician either. And he, he yeah, was we're, right. We're gonna, we're gonna, that's he about was right. the most attention we're going to give that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. How about them sabers? Um, Maple leaf. <laughs> I'm Canadian. Maybe. I'm Canadian. She's Brazilian, so we're okay. Um <laughs> What? <laughs> Everybody thinks I'm Hawaiian, so <laughs> that's still American. <laughs> no, All right, on that I, note, <laughs> not if I defect to the kingdom of Hawaii. I know. You but it's like, how did this just not fall off the rails like this? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> just so you guys know that we live stream our live <laughs> episodes on our Facebook page. And now we simultaneously do it as well officially on our YouTube page. Yay. Which, you know, we can't, we don't have an official thing yet. So please uh, subscribe, enable notifications so that way you can know when we do our new episodes, of course. Um, mm-hmm. So, yes, we will be simultaneously live streaming on both platforms, no longer just Facebook. So, once you get it on YouTube, watch us. Um, like and subscribe. Yes. Also, don't forget, we are on Facebook and on Instagram. Probably more active on Instagram, but you know how it is. Um, we are at the Hop This Way Show. So, by all means, Give us a follow, give us a like, and uh, enjoy our content that we put up, which is mainly just letting you guys know when we're on, and that's really about yeah. it. And um, let's see, that's that's it. Yeah, also, <laughs> if by some chance that you can't multitask, and or you can multitask and you can't watch the show, unfortunately, we are on Spotify and on Apple Podcasts. The Hop This Way show, just type it in your search bar and we appear. So, hey, no matter what, there's 
theoretically no excuse that you can't ingest the show in some way, shape, or form, and you can hear us, watch us, preferably watch because you can understand a majority of what we're talking about. <laughs> but yeah, that's what it really comes down to, and my face will be shaven by that time. So please get this off the full main fucking screen of me, please. <laughs> <laughs> but you look like your son, though. You, you look, look like her son when he's older. I guess so. so. Uh, thanks so much, Derek. Uh, appreciate it. Great episode, and you guys covered it perfectly. Thank you so Thank much. You, uh, I wish HBO felt the same way as I just got a notification from them <laughs> saying that they took, they didn't like us sharing their videos. But hey. Oh, oh really? Yeah, I just got it right now. <laughs> oh. Oh. Nah, I said, yeah. we, 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 uh, we, we give you all the props in the world. So yeah, we, yeah. Do. we tell you to go watch. We help. We, we, we did everything we could to help save uh, Warrior and get a season three. But uh, we understand. And we just say thanks anyways. We, we accept your decision and we'll try not to do it again. I think we're definitely going to do it again, just so you know. You just won't play <laughs> as much of it. <laughs> Maybe we'll see. Um, but uh, anyways, no. Uh, this is a this this was a really fun episode. Like Derek said, uh, I, I want to echo those sent sentiments there. And it just gets better and crazier as it goes. This next episode is going to be intense, but not for the reason that we normally see on this show. Um, like <sighs> it's it's such a good episode. Like uh, you're gonna if if you're watching these with us. And for some reason, you're just watching these as you watch the show for the first time. You're going to fall in love with Kenneth uh, Jacob's uh, Jacob uh, and Kenneth's acting and portrayal of Jacob because oh. man, this dude over the next two episodes or over this next episode is just phenomenal. So, yeah, buckle up, buckle up, folks. I don't know. Yes. Anybody else got anything else before we go? No, I think well, we covered it all. Right on. Put out the hearts out there. If you got a heart, show it. And oh. with the heart, you get a little bit of... Stick it! Very much to uh, for Stephanie uh, Pratt Young, for Rebecca Nishi, for Frank Shong. I'm your boy, Zeus, and this has been another edition of the Hop This Way Show. See you all next